when when respiration is defective, um, instead of using the oxygen to make energy, uh, the oxygen makes what we call reactive oxygen species, ROS. It turns out that the ROS, the ROS, are carcinogenic and mutagenic. So it became clear to me that all these gene mutations and the somatic mutation theory of cancer is all a downstream effect of the damage to the respiration, which goes back to support what Otto Warburg was saying originally, that everybody said he was wrong when he wasn't wrong. So we, we have confirmed that Otto Warburg was in fact correct and that the cancer cells are using a fermentation mechanism to stay alive. And once you know that, then you interrogate the cells and say, what, what is the fuel that's allowing them to, to der derive their fermentation? And the two fuels that we have found and others as well is uh, the sugar glucose and the amino acid glutamine. We don't know of any cancer in any tissue of any kind that can survive without glucose and glutamine, that can survive without fermentation. So knowing this, it becomes clear how you manage the disease, how you prevent the disease, and you can move forward with this. The problem is the field has become so indoctrinated to think that this is a genetic disease, that this information that I just shared with you cannot be accepted. So it just takes time for the field to come to realize that it takes, it, they need to know this. So if you go to most oncology centers, they've never heard of what I just told you. Right. They never heard of Otto Warburg. If they never know the basics, then how is it possible that they're going to be really successful in managing the disease in their patients? And that's why we have over 1,600 people a day in this country dying from cancer. It's getting worse. The incidence is getting worse. It's replacing heart disease as the number one cause of death. And it doesn't have to happen. It, it's, a very, it's a disease that has a very clear mechanism and a very clear strategy for management. But the majority of people practicing medicine and oncology don't know anything about this. So that's the wall. That's the, the, we're up against this, this uh, mindset. Want to learn what the leading edge science says about the most proven anti-cancer diet? What about experiencing the joy and power of meditation, emotional freedom, energy medicine yoga, and ancient healing methods? Or how about learning from world leading doctors and health experts what you can do to protect yourself and your family from chronic disease and live a long and healthy life? Imagine if you could learn directly from cancer conquerors how they beat cancer using holistic diet and lifestyle approaches. And imagine understanding why certain supplements work, others don't, and what to look for when choosing effective supplements for health and vitality. And what if every month you could get your most important health questions answered by world-leading integrative and holistic physicians and health experts? Now, it's all possible inside Healing Life. Join the health revolution today at healinglife.net.